Welcome back everyone. Before we get into today's video, these are the people who entered the competition. So we're going to do the draw to see whose packs we open in game and give themselves a chance to win a reward. Now as ever, here are the names and numbers on the right hand side. It's a random number generator starting from number one to keep it fair each time. So here we go, three, two, one, and the winner this time will be Mark Harrison. So congratulations dude, we'll go straight into that pack opening right now. Welcome back from the Mobile Gaming Fanatics, my time here, this is Top Drives and I hopefully now can start putting out some more regular content so sorry for being away for so long. First thing I want to do is open those packs for Mark after he won the competition just to show you very quickly the car that he predicted I would get if it is an epic. He went for UK premiums and he predicted 65RQ Range Rover Evoke so we are hoping to pull either that for Mark or even better, one of the legendary cars that are up for grabs. So first of all, let's go in and open those packs. So we're gonna scroll across all the way to UK Premium, two packs. Just a reminder, if I should get the Epic that he predicted, then he will win a prize, the 10 pound voucher, as well as a potential to win the 25 one if the legendary card or a legendary card drops from this pack. So two attempts, here we go, Mark. Good luck, mate. First one. I do need a lot of ultra rares as well. So to be honest with you, if I can get anything ultra rare, I'd be pretty happy. Got lots of cars to work on. We'll come to that in just a moment. But first of all, we start off with at least a double super rare, which is good. Okay, not too much luck there. Second attempt, second attempt. Can we get, can we get a legendary? Come on, I'm rooting for you, Mark. I'm rooting for you. Okay, it says 47 RQ. We've got a chance, we've got a chance. Oh, okay, two double super rares though, not too bad. Sorry, mate, you are welcome though to enter in again. Details will be in the description down below. This video will be the video to comment on if you want to enter in the next challenge and the draw will be done next week. Right, let's get back into the game. So from a challenge perspective, we just have this Collector's Club running, which is a Chevrolet based event with a ceramic pack up top. I'm sure most of you have been playing this. Most of you have probably already completed it and most of you have probably complained about it. So there's not really too much on the challenge front at the moment but we have had quite a lot going on leading up to this week so i think we can understand that hutch maybe will have some breaks in it so let's let's keep let's keep our lid on it let's not get too aggressive with them let's see what happens coming up to the weekend and next week but what we do have up and running which has been hotly debated in the discord and the chats is the current prize car, which happens to be the Lancia LC2. Okay, we will come in and show you that. In fact, it's a better way to start off. Let's come and show you that Lancia, which is the prize car at the moment. Now, it is a repeat, so there are people out there with it already, and many of the people that have it will tell you this car is a pretty, pretty strong demon. We can see here, 95 stock handling, 2.70 to 60, 225 top speed. It does have slick tires, but it does only weigh 850 as well with really decent peak power and torque. The Motorsport tag, this is a car I would love to own. I tried to get it the first time, failed. I will try again this time. Now, we are already into the prelims, which means we've had the qualifiers and we could tell from the qualifiers that 2015 is the theme for the cars okay they were the packs given out they are also the prizes all the cars again are 2015 in terms of year so we can confirm 2015 however the talking point is what would the track sets actually consist of as we can see here again when we look at the cars all these cars i would tell you without clicking on them are all five seaters or more the same as in the first round also we can see standard tires standard tires standard tires standard tires and again all surface a theme which happened in the qualifiers top prize being awarded here is an all surface four wheel drive vehicle which leads me to believe that we will not just be looking at 2015 finals we'll be looking at also 
five seaters pluses potentially or at least some rain slash dirt now some people think that just because the carbon fiber packs were 2015 and you may not have won a car that can help you in the finals means that it can't be that specific however it's happened in the past hutch have said they can't make these packs as specific as they wanted to just yet but it's something they're meant to be working on uh, i believe it was meant to be updated in some of these recent patches but we'll have to wait and see so i am going to predict i am going to predict building some cars with the idea that there is going to be some rain in the final okay so if we come and we go and get rid of 2015 and we come down to miscellaneous and we put oh no sorry collection and tags and we get rid of all those non-price cars first of all we will see there is a big selection of cars okay big selection of legendaries big selection of of epics as well now i would not be surprised to see this to see all these cards being able to be used because it is a very very good price car being such a top price car i wouldn't be surprised if hutch decided to allow a lot of people to participate by potentially giving them more legendaries and epics that they could have in their garage obviously the more that can be used in the finals the more chance there is of you having one or having multiples of them however what leads me to believe more that there will be something other than just dry asphalt tracks is if we go down to the ultra rare and this is kind of like the entry level into the finals we see we do have the ford edge sport <coughs> excuse me we've got the amg 63 here standard tires again standard tires again standard tires again all surface here we go down to the super rares super rares now there's only six super rares and they all have standard tires all four wheel drive with the exception of the chrysler so if hutch is trying to open up an event for lots of people to play and kind of the requirements may for some people to put in super rares and ultra rares i can't see them having a year where there are only standard or all surface tire super rares if there isn't going to be some form of rain involved now it might not necessarily be dirt as well but it could be mixed that is my prediction so if we come and we then have a look at cars for example which are five seater plus okay so this is this is the theory which has been going through all all the cars all 10 cars would fit into this current category now we see there are two specific legendaries with the mccann gts being the best you can get as we move down to the epics some all surface four wheel drive audis up for grabs so although they don't have standard tires they do have the four wheel drive capability here so could help you in the rain could help you in the dirt as we scroll down a bit we still got a few of the dodge dodges which could be used on the dry aspect of the finals we've got a bmw x6 up here we've got an amg gle 63s two more all surface epics standard tires acura here standard tires mercedes benz <coughs> excuse me and then finally the range rover evoke so quite a few epics would fall into that category and then as we drop down into the ultra rares we will notice that every car here is either standard tire or all surface with the exception of the bentley so if you have any of these cars i imagine you will be able to use them in the final in some form of rain or dirt and then again it includes all six super rares so for that reason i am going to take a slight risk i do not own any of the great okay i do not own any of the great so legendary epics here however however i can probably say there is an extremely good chance that i will be using some of these cars i've already got maxed out dodge chargers if i wanted to get rid of the five seaters i do have the mclaren i could bring in but for me i think it makes sense i've got two maxed out ford edge sports and i've got the amg 63 so potentially if it's dirt covered got some standard tire cars here but kind of missing out that level i'm tempted to work on my GLE as well as my rs3 sports back now i'm going to do the sports back first i think definitely uh, we'll just throw in a chassis now as you can see don't have many unlocked um 
ultra rares at the moment so i am going to need to work on getting a few more of those so we do need to try and open a few packs do a little bit better to try and max out a couple of these cards before the finals but that is my theory okay that is my theory to what the finals will include now it doesn't mean there won't be dry tracks okay i do think there will be dry tracks as well i just think there will be a mixture of wet and dry with the potential to have some either mixed or dirt kind of track thrown in there as well giving us quite a vast array of all surface cars that you could use for all the tiers so with that let's have a look quickly at the lc2 prelims now i can't show you anything particularly good here because we're using german cars and as you may be aware my german garage isn't particularly great now I am running with a non-maxed out Mercedes-Benz CLS, which I have gradually been working on. I've got to finish these cars, okay? This is what I'm trying to do, people. Why I don't have as many ultra rares? Because I'm just going through. If I've started working on a car and I want to continue working on it, I just want to build it, finish it, even if I'm not using it now. So, for example, the Mercedes wasn't a good, a good car because I'm using it currently. But when I'm not, I need to just go for an event. When I don't need it, max it out. This is why I need to get some ultra rares, just so that car is if it's staying in my garage and i'm using it i want it maxed out okay legendaries a little bit different but i'm going to gradually start thinning out my epics working on some of my legendaries and just getting rid of these cars which are sitting in my garage doing nothing i might as well improve the cars that i'm actually using so here i'll just show you a running give you an idea of why i've got no real chance of making it anywhere in the rankings because i just don't have a good team simple as don't have a good team forced to use the mercedes benz here because it's got standard tires four wheel drive i do have the bmw m5 but it's not the best for the drags for example the audi r8 will beat it so it's not a guaranteed win there again using the bmw x drive for the standard tires um we come in here, lots of people using the 220D 49RQ, pretty useful car for this event to be honest with you, save you a little bit of little bit of RQ there and in the last round we will fortunately get the victory just because the Mercedes is slightly better than the, my Mercedes is slightly better than his, but that is, that is very close okay, very close there and that's me in 55th, so realistically giving up on this kind of prelims we're just waiting for the finals and to see what the final requirements are so that's why i haven't really bought anything to the table until now on top of that we do have retro ball going which is 1950s to 1979s again show you my team here got a lot of rq to make up not going to be investing in a maserati because i can't max it out and i can't get it finished for this event and i don't have anything particularly better hanging behind for this um for these rewards again i haven't bothered to work on the ford gt and i haven't bothered to work anymore on a porsche carrera this is a car that i am currently currently considering fusing away if i needed to okay because i haven't maxed out not because i don't use it so i have used the car quite a bit 608 races isn't too bad for this car which is why it hasn't gone yet but it's actually unlocked in my garage because if i get stuck and i have legendaries i want to work on or max out or get something else until i max out that car or work on that car it is eligible for fusing that's the way i am attacking attacking the game now right so first of all we can see here there are two reigns always and the rest i just get murdered on so it doesn't really matter who i come up against i don't have a good team lineup i used a birdcage and the what are you called again the db db3s down here okay those two because the rest of my cars are slick they can't they can't cope on it can't cope on the rain and here we go so i'm kind of forced into my hand two cars always have to go in the rain they're not really designed for rain but they're the best of a bad bunch i could put in yes i could put in the ford rally escort now i am not 100 percent sure if that is a better move or not i'm sure some of you out there can let me know in the comment section below i can contemplated it 
but I haven't seen too many other people doing it. So as a result, I thought maybe there's a reason they're not doing it. So I stuck with the birdcage and stuck with the DB3S. Seem to see more of these cars. Um, to be fair, I do have the Porsche Carrera, which I could put in, but not maxed out. So again, sitting in the back. Now it looks like, oh, you've got a chance of top 10. Maybe you should try and push this. See if you can get a a ceramic pack as a reward tempting tempting with eight hours to go but i already know realistically i get smashed by people in the top 10 so another event down we can go on to rainy days ahead and it's got the aston martin tag which got me super excited and then now we also see subaru so unfortunately 12 for 8 12 for 8 isn't great what it does do is it does give us an opportunity to come and purchase some aston martin carbon fibers now the subaru carbon fibers i think they can be disregarded pretty quickly it's up to you if you want to get on the german 2015 to 2019 or the pre-1980s but again these are free carbon fibers that i just disregard straight away and because i've got so many aston martins i don't think i'm going to be tempted into one of those at the moment i am still saving for hopefully a new patch or an amazing pack in the future or one of those special deals something like that anyway let's come in and have a look now i have played some races here this is the hand i opted to use to begin with however i am contemplating contemplating because this event is full of rain it seemed sensible to bring in some standard tire cars however I've come to note that the Subarus are pretty underwhelming. Now my best Subaru is the WRX STI and it's current format, it's current the way that I have upgraded it, which isn't maxed out, two upgrades into it by the way, I lose to the maxed out ultra rare WRX, okay? I'll show you that in the game. So I decided it may be better for me to just bring in my Aston Martins because they're probably going to outperform the Subaru anyway or very closely and I could even throw out this one and bring in one of these um, I, I'm not sure if I was going to go low if I'm going to go low and just bring in a car with some standard tires or something uh, I could bring in something like the Signet and then go heavier um, or I could bring in I mean let's try this okay I haven't done this yet but I'm just, just thinking outside the box here. If I really, really underrate the Subarus available, apart from the one that I just had, that is the half decent Subaru. Um, I could bring in something like this and try. Just go with pure pace and power with the Aston Martin. Let's see how it goes. First. We'll play Chris Payne. Let's just see how this goes. Now, I know I've got a defeat coming up here. So I think it's better to put it on something like a G-Force or something like that. Now, I've also pretty much got a defeat here. So I've got to try and get three victories elsewhere. Well, looking at this, I can already kind of see that I've got a very good chance of getting one victory, two victories. And you know what? I'm not actually sure about the Monaco hairpin. I think we might lose that. But I said I haven't tested this out. Okay, we do we do still win it. As you can see, not a lot of an advantage of me going with these lower RQ Subarus. Now the only one that was potentially half decent is the one with the four-wheel drive. Oh, this is we're gonna we're gonna lose this unless we get a few extra points. Um is the one with the four-wheel drive, the 48, 49 RQ one. I can't remember which one it is, but that one did seem to pro prove um fairly useful for some of these wet twisty tracks. Um no, we, okay, not enough. So that didn't quite work out, as we can see, because we lose too many points against other people with that kind of hand. But you can see, you can see where my thought process process lied there. Why have Subarus in this if they're they're not redundant, but they don't actually help you? So, yep, the legacy comes in, and we opt for a. Uh, what else do we opt for? Where is my... Ah, okay, it was, it was in UK. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. And then we also opt for the Jaguar. So yeah, we do have 65 RQ where we could potentially bring in something else. Um, I mean, we could leave the Signet and bring in... 
You know what? I think I might have. I think I might have messed up. It's all rain. Uh, I think we would lose less points this way. Let's try this. I forgot that one of the cars could be from Japan or the UK. It doesn't have to be an Aston Martin. So here, yeah, this is this is a little bit different. So this is where we lose. This is where it would be pretty useful to have to have the legacy but that doesn't matter so we take victory we will take a victory on the monaco g-force with almost like for like we will take a we will go for the victory here we will take the victory here and we will take the victory here so again the signet is going to lose on a slalom test but it's not going to get destroyed it's going to hold its own it's going to be about 100 odd points i'd say uh, maybe fractionally more to prefer, maybe about 125 but we can make that back on the rest of the tracks there the mra of the aston getting us through um on the car park we're going to get a victory here see even though the subaru and pretzel if you've not got this maxed out i don't even know maxed out how well it would do you're going to struggle so we do look okay 105 there we go that just means we have to win the last race here which we will do in this no we don't wow what a better mid-range acceleration oh that's that's my bad then uh okay well there you go down to 20 seconds i actually honestly thought i'd had that but now we will compare that very quickly at the end with the team that i was running and yes it's not the fairest comparison because i know i've just just got knocked down slightly but i was trying to go as high as i can to face them so you can see again here it is another another event that unfortunately not quite gonna compete with the top guns however i wish i could have because if i had done a few more upgrades into some of these cars uh, especially you know one or two of my legendaries possibly possibly would have been in top 10 not going to do it just for this event but what i mean is if i had have done it already if i had been working on these cars then yes i could have been in a slightly stronger position but anyway i digress right so i've gone and picked a bad person to pick here i should have paid attention this is this is awful for me this is absolutely awful so we'll take a victory here in fact we're even tempted to okay right we can take a vic oh dear me uh okay right didn't really look at the track set before i was coming up against picking the person as high up as possible but we're going to lose here against a jaguar i can't win that can't win that with any of my cars i seen there's none of the other rounds really required any handing that's why i just put my um, aston there so we do lose by 50 points here to the vulcan meaning we need three victories so we'll get one here a few points made up this the issue is going to be can we get through on the city streets and we should do because we do have the standard tires so yeah we do get through okay here in the end uh weren't weren't as bad as i thought thought it was going to be a little bit closer than that so there you go back up into 13th and i i don't know why i did to me this this lineup just doesn't look as powerful as my previous one however there seems to be something about the subaru legacy which does really well as well as then putting a jaguar in because it does have those standard tires i'm thinking i'll go as high as i can again very quickly i'm thinking that that is what just gives me that kind of edge in some of these track sets especially when i'm going with people who don't have any standard tire cars so again here for monaco monaco city streets long um wait 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 let's have a look let's have a look let's have a look so we will go we will go one two three then we will take streets and put in the legacy here because the legacy will still do okay because of its four wheel drive so we just about get the victory here with aston martin that's fine it's not going to really win by more than 50 points anyway we can do better here than you expect we lose it right at the end look at that against the wrx but that's fine it's a 49 rq car so we accept that we're going to get a victory here which gives us again the extra 50 point advantage uh, we need to win this ideally which we will do and that's 
pretty much because the Jaguar can pack a bit of a punch. I mean, it's not a bad car. When you look at its peak power and torque, then the fact that it does have four wheel dry, uh, sorry, it does have standard tires to help it. And then finally, we've got a better handling for Monaco City Streets Long. And there's a victory. So this was the reason why I'd opted to edit the team and use this. Now I can push myself a little bit further, push myself into the top 10, but seeing the defeats I've got, obviously there's gonna be some people in here that can easily beat me. Again, we'll go up as high as we can very quickly, just for the sake of showing kind of why this team is slightly better. Um, we can take a victory in the in the Monaco G Force here, mainly because the Subaru is going to be lighter. To be fair, um, I don't know if we do get a victory there. We're going to hope we do. We'll say we hope we get victory there. We've got two defeats here, so I need to make sure that I win on the rest of them. And I think the only way I can even contemplate contemplate having a victory, I know I'm going to lose to the Vulcan. I know the extra handling isn't going to help me enough. Oh, it does. Oh, I did not know that to you. I thought I lose. I know he's he isn't maxed at all, which is maybe maybe that's what I was thinking. Maybe I've come against one which was maxed out, but that was unsurprising. Didn't expect to win that. Got the victory there, which helps. Now it's just a case of putting 50 points in and not losing too many. We've got a chance of beating this Subaru here. I, I'd actually say we do beat it. We don't, right, it gets us on the drag. It was close, obviously it was close. This is pretty much the only Subaru I would contemplate putting in my hand outside of the Legacy. Um, all the others, unless they're maxed out, I don't think they help you. I honestly don't think they help you. You're better off with going with some strong uh, Aston Martins. And we do lose here, I did expect that, but that's okay, because we end up with the victory overall anyway, and that leaves us in sixth. So we do have a chance, we do have a chance of another ceramic pack here, but more importantly, we're gonna start working on some of those cars for that final, as I said, predicted it, 2015, five seaters plus potentially, or at least there's gonna be some wet slash dirt. So if you wanna kind of double up, pick one of your wet slash dirt cars, which is a five seater plus as well, and max out one of those at least to get yourself ready for the finals. That is my tip anyway. As ever, thank you very much for watching this video. I've been my time. If you've enjoyed it, please let me know in the comment section below. Again, if you wish to enter in for the next draw for next week with your chance to win one of those Apple or Google Play cards, you can do so by leaving the pack that you would like me to open two of, which premium pack in the comment section, along with an RQ car which falls in with the epic range that you think that I will potentially get. As I said, we're looking for that epic car that you predict or a legendary to win a prize. As ever, thank you everyone. I'm going to go be back when we have the finals up so we can actually see what those cars will be. Good luck preparing for it and I'll see you all soon.